can apply CDIS verification on your SAS dataset by clicking on the CDIS tool here. In that case, you can select as many datasets as you like, and then click on the OK button. Notice that you can also select the CDIS button, which means it will select any standard CDIS dataset name. In this case, most of the datasets here are standard CDIS names, so it selects all of them. You can also preview your datasets prior to genera generating this verification by clicking on the preview button. In that case, it shows you a proc print of the first 100 observations so you can see what the data looks like. Now once you click OK, it will look into the variables and attributes that's defined in the system and then it would dem show you um, the findings that and how you're possibly deviating from the standards. For example, this dataset CO is missing uh, the actual dataset label, which is comments. In this case, if you were to click on this number 10 case number, it will show you that the rule in which it's applying, which is the dataset name, it matches the CDIS guideline, but the associated label does not match. So that's how you would be able to review all of these variables and the possible deviations that you have. You can also navigate to a specific variable at the top here by clicking on this and it jumps directly to that specified variable from any of the data sets that you selected here. So in addition to generating this report, you can also review um, and generate the macro call. So if you click on save here, it will generate the same request but in a macro form. So these data sets that you selected here are then captured in this parameter. So you can either run things using the graphical user interface or using the um, safe code to run it in batch mode.